All right, Fishaholic fam, welcome back to another episode. Uh, if you're a first time viewer, my name is Rich and thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, you may have seen me last in Brazil actually, but I got back to the States like two or three days ago and I'm only gonna be back uh, here in Florida for like the next like two or three days. And then I'm actually flying out again, but I'm flying up to New York, renting a car and then heading out to Montauk. So uh, we're, we're gonna really time crunch with uh, the few days that I have here in Florida. And I wanna try and make at least like two or three videos before I head out of town. Uh, but before we get to the fishing action, I also just wanted to uh, bring to your attention that uh, on some of my last few videos, uh, there has been a like scamming bot type thing like in the comments and I have nothing to do with that and, and I've been trying like day in and day out to uh, monitor the comments and to uh, report um, the, these comments that are either like stealing my profile picture and then writing, uh, replying to uh, some of the comments saying that you won something uh, kind of like this or like that. And um, that right there is a huge red flag. You should never, you know, reach out to uh, those bots or those scammers. And uh, this right here is, you know, what it should look like if uh, I'm replying to you, uh, say if you won a giveaway uh, of some sort, uh, or if I'm just replying to you in any way, uh, you'll see my um, profile picture and then it should be like a grayish, uh, dark bubble around uh, fishaholic fishing and that's how you know for sure it's me and uh, again like if you want to give away uh you know i'm not going to ask for you to pay for anything or the shipping i'm just going to reach out to you congratulate you and uh ask you to email me your mailing address and then i'm gonna you know ship you out uh your prize and uh that's you know about it so uh just uh you know you know pay close attention to that and don't fall for those those stupid bots or scammers and i really apologize for why that's you know for that happening i don't know why it's happening I, i've uh, reached out to google I, i've um you know spent like hours and hours um going through some videos that say have hundreds and hundreds of comments and uh, there's like hundreds and hundreds of those uh, spamming comments so um if we could all um help out uh and if you see one of those comments, just report it or flag it, and that'll help in the long run. But uh, anyway, um, now let's uh, head to the water and uh, get out in the kayak and see if we can catch some fish today. So stay tuned. made it to the water and it's a little breezy but I think it's doable and uh, we're gonna head south probably on the Indian River so we'll have some areas where we can hide out from the wind if we need to and uh, it's a little after 3 30 p.m. right now so uh, kind of a later ish start but I did that intentionally because uh, I saw that high tide was around uh, like 3 p.m. here so right now we've got uh, slack water or in some spots it might just be starting to go out and uh, I think that this spot fishes the best on an outgoing tide so I'm just gonna fish out there hard uh, the, you know during the entire outgoing uh, into dark and hopefully that'll be enough to uh, get on a bite but uh, before we head out there huge shout out to Navalis for actually sponsoring today's video and uh, sending me out this really comfortable ultra soft 100% bamboo Navalis long sleeve tee and they also sent me out a pair of shorts and uh, I love their apparel uh, you know if you haven't tried bamboo you, you definitely should and uh, maybe check out Navalis if you want to and I'll put a code here on the screen so you can save at checkout and uh, they also recently just launched a bunch of new uh, products up on their site. So uh, again, check them out. You might uh, find something you like and uh, you know, be able to pick something up that uh, will keep you really comfortable uh, out in the outdoors. So anyway, now let's get out there and see if we can catch some fish. Well, for our for first order of business, I'm gonna try and get some bait.
bunch of bait right here. Only got a few little greenies or pilchards. All right, I'm gonna wrap up the net for a little bit now because uh, we caught about like two dozen little greenies. And uh, a couple weeks ago, I just tied to this piling here and I was flipping greenies right into this uh, outgoing rip. And uh, we did pretty well. We caught uh, quite a few, you know, smaller size snook, probably up to like 25 inches. So I wanna see if we can possibly catch uh, some bigger ones here now. And uh, we'll fish through all the greenies that we have. And uh, if we don't catch anything larger, then uh, I'll probably try to see if uh, I could find some bigger bait, like maybe uh, some mullet or some croaker or like, you know, larger size maharas or something. And uh, then we'll try fishing with those. Big barracuda right there, wow. Hmm. And a big snook right there. Two big snook, three big snook. Oh my God, there's some giants here. Four big snook. Oh my God. We might actually catch a big in here. All right, well to start, I'm gonna cut off this swim bait. And I got 30 pound fluorocarbon on and one of these little itty bitty circle hooks. That should be good. Just tied it on with a single uni knot. Now let's throw out this little bait and see what happens. Hmm, just spotted some mullet right in there swirling around. That's a good sign. So if we can't catch anything on this bait, I'm definitely gonna go right in there and try and catch some of that mullet. They look like good size ones too, like six to eight inches. Oh, just got cleaned off the hook. It didn't take long. All right, let's try that again. Wow, there's so much bite bait drifting through right now. Something just ate it. There he is, fish on. Ah, oh, it's a catfish. I brought my little D hooker for those guys because I had a feeling I'd be tangling with a few. There's a fish. Looks like a little barracuda. Yep. Hooked him perfectly. Fish on. Ah, another catfish. All right, we're not doing good here. Just catching a lot of cats and the one barracuda. I did see a couple snook, but 
I don't think we're in a good position to catch them. And I think I have like six or seven greenies left. Oh, that was a, oh, that's a snook right there. And he was eating a greenie too. So maybe if we drift this one right into him, he'll hit it. Come on, come on. Oh, there he is. Got him. Nice. Sorry, bud. Oh, you gave yourself away. It's a fun size one. There we go. Sweet. This is probably about the, the biggest size that I caught here the first time that I fished here. So it's good that we're starting off with a snook like this. Maybe we can just go up from there. Oh, there's another fish. What is this? Oh, yeah. The last time I was here, or well, the first time and the last time I was here, I hooked into one of these, but it fell off and just bumped the kayak. And I read the comments, and, and someone commented that they have like a spine or, or spikes or something that can go into your hand. So I'm not going to touch them, I'm just going to de hook them. Now let's get the net back out and catch some bigger, better bait. Hmm. Got a couple finger mullets in that toss there. Perfect little baits. I was hoping for a little bit bigger, but we'll take what we can get. All right, well, I think we're good. I wrapped up the net and it looks like we've got like maybe a dozen finger mullet in there. And uh, the sun is going down quick, so I don't want to waste uh, any more time. I want to try and see if we can catch something nice on them. All right, I'm gonna grab my heavier stick now. This is uh, the seven foot uh, dark matter heavy action spinning rod paired with the number five visser, 20 pound green moss power pro braid. And I believe this is a 40 pound uh, floral leader on here uh, attached to my braid with a little barrel swivel. Uh, if it's not 40, it's 50. Uh, I forget uh, what I used last when I was out on uh, the Fishaholic rig, but uh, it looks thick enough and strong enough and in good enough condition to use right now and uh, this hook on here looks like a 6-0 so i'm going to take it off because our mullets are on the smaller uh, side of things and uh, i'll see if i got uh, a 4-0 in here that'll probably work a lot better oh yeah that's gonna do it and i'm just gonna single uni knot on this hook as well just like the last one All right, now let's try getting a bait out without losing any. Oh, lost one. Perfect. All right, let's uh, start by hitting this little point here 
with uh, the current sweeping by it, there's got to be some snook sitting right here. And I've caught him here before. Oh, he's getting real nervous. Something's looking at him. Oh, I think I just got eight. There's a fish. What the heck is this? Oh, it's a paracuda. We're getting lucky that the cudas aren't cutting us off. Whoa. Look at all that. I don't know what that was. If that was all snook or jacks. Man, but they're going crazy on the greenies in there. If it's something sizable, this uh, mullet won't last long. Oh yeah. Oh, I got eight and then dropped and... There's a fish. Oh, it's a cuda. What? I wonder if it was just a bunch of kudas busting on the bait. I'm gonna retie and I'm gonna add a little weight to the line. And then I'm gonna tie my hook right back on. Let's grab another mullet. All right, I'm gonna go try dropping this guy along a seawall where there's some deeper water. This looks super juicy. Oh, right against the wall. I've uh, fished this area before, but I've never caught any fish right here. But uh, it, there's some, there's like some relatively deep water right along this uh, sea wall. And it's like a point too. So like the current's flowing right along here and creating a nice rip. There's a fish. Oh, something decent. Not sure what it is. Oh, man. Getting a little workout from this fish. All right, there we go. A little spunky Jack Creval. Fun size one. got bit he dropped it unless he's swimming at me oh yeah big fish wow really big fish oh stay hooked baby This might be a big snook. Oh yeah, this has to be a big snook. Oh, 
stay hooked, baby. Stay hooked. I'm gonna go on a little sleigh ride and chase her down a little bit. Man, this is a big fish. Oh, still haven't seen what it is yet. I hope it's not like a snagged Jack Creval or something. Oh, you know, it, it is a big Jack. Oh my gosh. It's a big Jack that just really didn't pull that hard. Dang. And now she is kind of pulling hard, but she's like beaching herself. Like, look at this sandbar here. Oh man, this looks like a dinosaur. Oh, 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 this is epic. I'm gonna get out of the kayak to fight this fish now. Oh, she's she's ripping. Wow, I can barely stop this fish. Dang. This is a dinosaur, guys. It ate a mullet like this big, I can't believe it. Oh yeah, look at the size of that one. Woo. Oh, look at that monster. All right, here's a closer look at uh, this dinosaur right here. One gave me a workout so got a little bit of daylight left let's uh get her back throw on another mullet and uh maybe we'll get uh another big fish like this Woo. all right i'm gonna take this fish for a little walk get some water flowing through its gills And there she goes, like a little submarine. Whoo! All right, well, that fish is gonna make my day. And uh, now we're just pulling the kayak off this sandbar that, uh, that Jack pulled us on. And uh, we're gonna head back to that seawall and uh, drop, uh, I think, our last finger mullet right along there. And maybe we can do something similar or maybe catch a big snook. But uh, the sun is going down quick and it's probably gonna get darker a lot sooner than I thought. So I'm just gonna do my outro now, and if I catch anything else, I'll add it to the end of this video. So uh, if you see that there's more time added on after the outro, then you can guess that I probably caught something else uh, or something else significant that I'll, you know, want to uh, add to the video. But uh, yeah, let's hop in. I hope uh, you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please uh, smash that like button and uh, hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more. And uh, like always, live to fish, fish to live.